Hello and welcome to another update video about DOT. Yeah, DOT seems to be moving as well, um, together with many other coins. It started as a boring day and now we see a little bit of volatility, a um, little bit of upside actually across the market, which is great. Some trend continuation, uh, several support areas did hold. I'm not aware of any coin that actually broke support yet. So we are um, watching for higher prices across the board still. DOT has done what I highlighted already um, a few weeks ago, that um, there's a good chance after the reversal here in our support area um, that we break out of this price channel. And if it does, that could spark further upside potential. Obviously, I've only sort of sketched out the first five wave move. But overall, um, as we count this as a wave two, we could be on our way in the third wave. Now, but we take it level by level with these altcoins. Um, if you're interested in a long-term video, we've got a few in our long-term video playlist section that gives you a bit of a view about all-time high targets if you're interested. Um, also, as a channel member, you get access to all the long-term charts that we have. We don't have long-term charts for all coins, but we have for DOT. So looking at this structure here, yeah. We have, um, off this October low, we had a five wave move to the upside. We had a three wave move down into support. It only touched the 38.2 FIB level, but that's okay. I intentionally added that one as well, because uh, we know that when the altcoins move, they sometimes only retrace a little. Um, and then, yeah, in the last video, I think we talked about, okay, this could be a wave one, this could be a wave two, and we have a third wave of a third to come. And that could take us out of this price channel. Let's go to the four hour chart. That could take us out of this price channel to the upside. Key resistances that come next, okay, are $5.70. I think that's particularly one level that I highlighted in the last video as a target for this third wave. Then we've got this wave too high at around $6.90. And then here at around $7.90. This key breakout point up there, resistance area. So if we go into the shorter time frame, take a look at the shorter time frame development to the one hour chart, we can see that most likely what formed here was a wave one of wave three. I've just run out of wave degrees. Um, whereas actually, let me add, let me, let me change the wave degrees. Uh, that will look a bit better. So, and then we can upgrade this here. And then this is fine. I can highlight that in yellow and it looks all good. So the idea was that this was a five wave move at, as well in wave one, came down in wave two, another one, two setup. And now we're moving up in wave three of three of three. This is the heart, so-called heart of a third wave rally. Um, and in this so-called heart of a third wave rally, we should see further upside. And what we can do is to take the Fibonacci extensions and then we measure the length of this wave one, we go to the low of this wave two, which bottomed at $4.28 and we measure the target for this third wave. And the minimum target that you would normally want is $5, the 1.236 extension. That's not going to be enough here because we have another, uh, we have looks like an extended third. So we have another one, two set up here. And uh, therefore I'm watching for $5.24, maybe $5.36, $5.50. Um, again, we need to see how high it extends. You cannot predict extensions. We know that they usually happen in third waves. Um, so we've got this as a third of a third wave. And overall, if we measure the larger degree, measure circle wave three target. Then we take the length of the move that started on the yeah, 19th of October, go to the high of circle wave one, go to the low of circle wave two. And then we're looking also here round about $5.67, but again, ideally higher. But as you can see, this also points towards this previous swing high area. So that's going to be a main level to watch. I think all the levels point towards that area. Um, here, this previous swing high around $5.70, yeah, which was made in July and then also yeah July again so yeah all these July highs and um, yeah then we should at some point get away for pullback and a wave five as soon as we have these five waves we can call that again a wave one then we get a wave two pullback and so we can move higher but just be aware that these individual waves they can extend higher and more than you would 
think that they do and um, to understand basically when it's starting to break down you can simply take the length of the last move and we take the 50% retracement level and that has to be adjusted but that's the $4.55 level which means that you know I'm not expecting a pullback now but it means that if one shows ideally it holds and it is also the level that where we say okay if it breaks something more bearish is going on okay so that's that's the golden knowledge that you can obviously use to trade okay um, because you can focus on higher above that level below that level it could still turn around and move higher but it's just that the probabilities have reduced or um, you could say that um, it's going to be much more risky to trade on the long side but for now we focus on higher until the first deeper pullback shows and it should extend a bit more Okay, that's my update about DOT. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.